Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. I'm going to show you how to transform graphics and text into highly polished chrome. I provided a Photoshop document that has two layers, a high contrast black and white logo and a carbon fiber background. You can find its link in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use a different graphic or you can type in text. If you do use a different background or graphic, make sure to check its size and resolution. To do this, go to Image and Image Size. The width and or height should be within 500 pixels of mine. If its resolution is below 300 pixels per inch, you'll need to decrease some of the filter setting amounts I'll be using in this video. In this example, the graphic has already been sized and positioned. However, if you're using a different graphic, you may need to adjust its size. To do this, press Ctrl or Command T to open the Transform tool. Go to a corner and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. To reposition the graphic, place your cursor inside the bounding box and drag the image. Then press Enter or Return. Next, we'll remove the white areas within the graphic. The fastest way to do this is with the Magic Wand tool. Set the tolerance between 10 to 30 pixels to ensure the background is completely removed. This is especially important if the background isn't 100% white. Sample size controls the number of pixels that are analyzed when we click it. Make sure contiguous is not checked. This ensures all of the same colored pixels on the image will be selected. Click anywhere on the white background to select the white and press the Delete key to delete it. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay and the color box. In the hexadecimal field, type in B2 three times, which gives us a 70% gray color. The opacity is 100%. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Enter Bevel. The technique is smooth and the depth is 600%. The direction is up, the size is 40 pixels, and the soften is 5 pixels. Use global light is unchecked. The angle is 120 degrees, the altitude is 30 degrees, and the gloss contour is linear. The highlight mode is screen, the color is white, and its opacity is 75%. The shadow mode is multiply, the color is black, and its opacity is also 75%. We'll convert our graphic into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Double click an empty area of the layer again to open the layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Outer Bevel. The technique is smooth. And the depth is 100%. The direction is up. The size is 7 pixels. And the soften is 5 pixels. The angle and altitude are the same as before. Open the flyout list of gloss contours. If you don't see the names with the thumbnails, click the gear icon and click small or large list. Click ring double. The highlight and shadow modes are the same as before. Click inner glow. The blend mode is screen. The opacity is 75% and the color is white. The technique is softer, and the source is edge. The choke is 10%, and the size is 7 pixels. The gloss contour is linear, and the range is 50%. Click Gradient Overlay. Open the Gradients Flyout list, and open Basics. Click the black and white thumbnail. Click the Gradient Bar to open the Gradient Editor. Click the lower right stop 
and for its location, type in 50. Click below the bar and type in 100. Click the color box to open the color picker and pick black. Then click OK on both windows. The blend mode is color burn and the opacity is 60%. The style is linear and the angle is 90 degrees. The scale is 100% and the method is linear. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is multiply. The color is black. The opacity is 50%. And the angle is 120 degrees. The distance is 24 pixels. The spread is 0%. And the size is 14 pixels. The contour is linear. The next steps will turn our image into chrome. Collapse the smart filters to save some space in the layers panel. Click the adjustment layer icon and click curves. We want it to affect just the graphic and not the background. To do this, click the clipping mask icon. The curves panel basically shows the tonal range of our image from black to white. By dragging the dark tones up, the mid tones down, and the light tones up, creating a hill, a valley and a hill, we're drastically altering the tones of our image. To increase the chrome effect, press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the curves. As you can see, this adjustment layer is affecting the background as well because we have to clip it to our graphic. We can adjust the look of our chrome by adjusting one or both curves. Lastly, we'll add a lens flare to make our chrome pop. To do this, we'll make a composite snapshot of our image above the top adjustment layer. Make that layer active and press Ctrl Alt Shift E on Windows or Command Option Shift E on a Mac. Convert it into a smart object so we can adjust the lens flare if we want to. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. In the Preview window, drag the flare over a bright spot on the chrome. I'll choose 105mm Prime and reduce its brightness to 70%. However, feel free to see how the other lens flares look as well. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.